and girls. We're here today and we're going to be doing a problem solving activity called the Shamrock Mystery. Oh, and you're wondering the mystery of why I said we're here today? Well, boys and girls, we have a special treat because I'm here. You can see me on the video, but someone else is going to say hello to you. So go ahead and say hello. Hello. Oh, you're right, boys and girls. That was Betty's voice. Yes, so Betty's here today, and she's going to solve the shamrock mystery for us, and we're going to work through it. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. The shamrock mystery. Tim has nine shamrocks. Kip has five less shamrocks. How many shamrocks does Kip have? Now, Betty, do you remember how when we're solving a problem, the first thing we always say is, all right, what are we trying to find out, right? Yeah, we're trying to find out what, what the last number is. Exactly, what number we're going to end up on, right? And yeah. we're, we're going to know that. And I think you heard when you said last, you know what else it made me think of? The, the last thing I said, did you hear me say, how many shamrocks does Kip have? Yeah. Okay, do you think it's a good idea to solve for that, to find out how many shamrocks he has? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight how many shamrocks does Kip have. So that way we know what we're looking for. Okay, Betty, I'm going to reread the story. And you know what I want you to look for this time? I'm gonna, oh. Okay, I'm going to have you look for the special numbers. There's going to be two numbers in the story that are going to help us solve the problem. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Tim has nine shamrocks. Kip has five less shamrocks. All right, what are our special numbers, Betty? Nine and five. Oh, you got them both in one try. Great job. So I'm going to highlight nine, and I'm going to highlight five. Now, Betty, I said a lot of words, and one of these words is going to help us know what type of operation or if we need to add or subtract. When I read the story this time, you see if you can pick out the special word that tells us if we should add or subtract. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Tim has nine shamrocks. Kip has five less shamrocks. How many shamrocks does Kip have? Ah, oh, you got it already. I didn't even have to repeat anything. Boy, you're staying sharp. You must be doing a lot of work at home, huh, Betty? Yeah. All right, very good. So there's going to be less. Hmm. Well, what did we start with first? Did we start with Tim? Tim's nine shamrocks? Or did we know that Kip had lost or had five less of those. What should we start out? Should I draw nine shamrocks to start? Nine, sham, nine shamrocks. Okay, I'm going to draw nine kind of quick shamrocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey guys, remember I'm taping, okay? All right, so we've got nine shamrocks here in my picture. Okay, Betty, can you tell me if I'm going to add more shamrocks for Kip or take some shamrocks away? Take some shamrocks away and you're gonna draw five shamrocks. Wow, you're right, I am gonna draw five less shamrocks. So what do you think, maybe I should use an X to get rid of some of those? Yeah. All right, good job. So here I go. I'm going to cross out one, two, three, four, five. All right, Betty, I crossed out five shamrocks. Can you picture in your head how many shamrocks are left? Four. You did a great job of that, and that's exactly what's here. Boys and girls, Betty can't see this picture. She was visualizing that in her head, and she knew that there would be four shamrocks left. Good job. Okay, Betty, remember what a number line is, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I'm going to put a dot on my number line of where we started, do you remember what number I should start on? Should I start? Yeah. Okay, which one? Nine. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to put a dot right by the nine, 
And let's see, did I get more shamrocks in the end or did I have less? Left. All right, so I'm going to have to jump backwards or to the left, aren't I? Do yeah. You, do you know how many I'm going to jump backwards? Five. Here we go. I'm going to take five jump backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So I'm going to circle a number here, buddy. I'm not it's going to... four. Oh, you're right. It's like you're right here looking at it. It is the number four. Good job. And it was equal to the number of shamrocks left in the picture, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, so that means our answer is checking out. Now, do you think you can help me write the math sentence for this? Yeah. Okay, what should I write, Betty? Nine minus five equals four. Betty, that was amazing. I wrote exactly what you told me. So I wrote nine take away five equals four. So that tells us we have four shamrocks. All right, yeah. boys and girls, I hope you did just as beautiful as a job as Betty did because she showed us one, two, three different ways to find the answer to our problem of how many shamrocks Kip had. And we know he had four. All right, great job, Betty. Great job, boys and girls.